surprises. <laughs> so does our audience. I'm going with you. You need somebody there. You, you need a weather girl. No, I don't. I'll, I'll, I'll do the weather myself. What, a mascara, a little dress? It wouldn't be the first time. You're scaring <laughs> me. Well, but it's probably just as well. Oh, nobody knows how to take their clothes off these days. No. No. This isn't bad. You said you couldn't cook. You did. And in column two, my figures are up in tens and in thirties. Plus, the clearance rate is up 20% over last year. And we're over quota in all of our long-term contracts. I would say that these figures are bonus worthy. Actually, anywhere else they may be. Grease my palm and July will fly. No, uh, no July. I have to let you go, and you can pick up your check at Human Resources on your way out. On the way where? Out. Sorry. But these numbers are unbelievable. These numbers what? are not good enough for WRCW, Ryan. I'm sorry. You're just not up to the job. Wait a second. Wait a damn second. I know exactly what's going on. No, you don't. The world does not revolve around Ryan Lavery and his bodily fluids. Hey. Hey. About time you got here. Well, what do you mean? I'm early. What are you talking about? I got 30 miles on you. Hurry up and catch oh, up. Oh, fly high and protein shakes again, I see. Protein schmotein. I sent uh, Eliza Shekhoff to Stanford. Went out this morning. <laughs> Wasted no time there. What? Eliza's editorial made last night's evening news. Did you catch it? No, I had an emergency appendectomy. Oh. I'll summarize it for you. Okay. Palmer Cortland, the bullheaded, hard-nosed bureaucrat. Uh-huh. Forces Pine Valley Hospital to prosecute the doctor who saved his little no. boy's life. Liza pulls no punches. I'm telling you, Jake, it's a major takedown. I mean, Liza, she's amazing. She's come through for us twice now. Yeah, she's, uh, she's been a really good friend to oh, us. Oh, the best. I feel like God sent her to us just when we needed help the most, you know? So it'd be fantastic if it, you know, we could return the favor, do oh. something good for her. Sure. I mean, this godparent thing is going to be a trip and a half, you know? I can just see it now. Liza needs a break, right? So you and I show up with our mountain bike, strap Junior on, and off we go. That little kid is going to have the cutest little helmet, the best workout clothes. We're going to be the coolest godparents in town. I agree. But I, I think, I think we're going to be more than just godparents. Huh? I'm going to be a donor for Liza at the fertility clinic. What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. You're going to father Liza's baby? What does that mean? You have nothing. All right, look, this conversation is going nowhere. I've, I've told you that the department is working on it, Adam. What, what in, your, in, in their sleep? She's been missing for five days now. Anyone in my family could be her next target. If she is the proper suspect, yes. Oh, well, who else do you have? Who? I have nobody else, Adam. Yes, you'd have no one else because it's Camille, Jack. We've been over this. Time and time again, let's try it one more time. Watch my lips. A, we have no proof that Camille is a killer. Find her, question her. You might learn something and that B, way. And B, there are other police matters that the Pine Valley Police Department need to look into besides this one. Have you told... Are we clear now? Have you told your police department that she was a magician's assistant, that a disappearing act is her specialty? No, Adam, I decided to keep that all to myself. Of course I... I'm not going to do this with you. I will let you know if we find her. No, not if, Jack. When? When? I want Camille Hawkins behind bars, and I want her there now. Stuart, where in the devil have you been? You don't have to worry about Camille, Adam. She's harmless. Well, that's one subject that we will never agree on, so let's just drop it. You sent the district attorney after her. That's not dropping it. I heard you. I did what I had to do. You're all head up over Camille. She couldn't hurt anyone, not in a million years. You're dangerously naive where Camille is concerned. But it doesn't matter. It's, uh, when I saw Camille, she was packing to leave Pine Valley for good. When you saw, you saw her. It's all right. Heck, while you've been looking for her, I've been hiding her.
not blind. I know he has his sights set on Haley. He thinks Haley's gonna come to him for advice. Haley wouldn't ask him for advice on a hangnail. And every time he comes on to her, it just makes her happier to be with me. I'm gonna tell you, Ryan, he's not that awful. Compared to what? Uh, hope you don't mind. The hey. maid let me in. John, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? Good, good. good. This is Jillian. Uh, this is my hospital ex-roommate, John. Hi, I, uh... Nice hi. To meet you. Yeah, I always enjoy meeting a beautiful woman. Oh, uh, speaking of which, uh... I brought this for Haley. It's, uh... Just kind of a token of my appreciation. Holy asinines! Camille Hawkins has been stalking our family for months, and you take her in like a long lost puppy. Are you an idiot? Dad, don't speak to Uncle Stuart like that. How long did you keep her up at the cabin? Since the night she ran out of the hospital, the night Scott got her. I'm getting the police up there right away. She's not there anymore. Um, she, uh, I checked this morning, she boarded up the cabin just like she promised. Dad, chill. Do you realize what you've done? Uncle Stuart did what he thought was best. And what does it matter about Camille? She's God. Damn it, Stuart. First you fall in love with the busiest tramp in the state. And now you've got your new friend who is a psychopath who's trying to wipe out our entire family. Could you possibly, possibly have done anything dumber? All right, that's enough, Uncle Adam. This is completely unacceptable. It's not open for debate. What's the matter, Liza? Eyeballs glued to the paper? You can't even look at me when you fire oh, me? Of course I can. I'm your top salesperson. Double digit increases over a year ago. You're also a liar and, and a cheat. And you are embarrassed because you almost had the great good fortune to be the mother of my child. That is not true. A little touchy, are we? As a former employee of WRCW, I suggest you leave the building now. Look, okay, we don't have to be embarrassed about this. I'll still be your top salesperson, and you'll still be the boss. Lady. And you're still fired. Why? Demon seed? My work would stand up at any station on the air. You and I both know that. Fine, I took some kickbacks, okay? But that's done. Why? Because I'm paying for it in a year-long marriage with Princess Perfect. There's no excuses here, Liza. None. You cannot let me go. This is my station. It's my ball. Go play somewhere else. Then that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. That's the way it has to be. I'm sorry, too. I tell you, I sure hate to go this route. What route? The charges, the counter charges, the publicity. What publicity? The deluge when I sue you for sexual harassment. You're bluffing. This need to have a baby, a desire unfulfilled, started out so perfectly, didn't it? But then the dream began to twist. Soon it turned into a nightmare. Station owner linked with former employee. Linked? What exactly are you talking about? Did I mention I sat on a jury recently? I know the inner workings of a trial. You'll watch as my lawyer enters the courtroom and he'll slam the June report down in front of you. Miss Colby, he'll say. It's obvious you didn't fire this young man because he made you money. There must have been something that came between the two of you. Made you want to let him go. He's a lying cheat. A man that donates his sperm so a woman can have a child. Does that sound like a man with no character? You know, I'm not playing this game with you anymore. Answer the question, Miss Colby. What kind of boss requests her employee's sperm? Requests? You repeatedly asked him for his sperm, and when he said no, you fired him. I turned you down. That's the way you see it. But upon serious reflection, I'm thinking it was the other way around. It wasn't. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you decide. I'm gonna go empty out my desk and get myself an attorney. 
Unless you want to sell this right now. Avoid having to sell this whole place to come up with the millions of dollars that the jury will reward me. Okay, I'll let you think about it for a while. Ryan, I don't do blackmail. Been there, done it, done it way better than you. Unbelievable. Is there anything that you haven't done first? You're out of your league. Okay. This whole thing is a little awkward. It is, but it's not like it was a plot against you. My clinic visits were, were, were acts of charity. I was getting paid. I need the money. My wife and I have expenses coming out of everywhere. And now thanks to your mad scene at the clinic, they fired me too. So you're broke. I'm worse than broke. Okay, my wife has got a $10 a day cappuccino hat. She, she's got a haute couture monkey on her back. Liza, I could be valuable to you, all right? I, I, my God, I would do, there's nothing I wouldn't do to stay on the RCW gravy train, absolutely nothing. I've got no morals, I've got no scruples. I'm your dream employee. Work with me here. You want a yes man? I'll learn how to say it in a hundred different languages. A salesman? What, a henchman? My God, you want me to get on my knees and beg George Clooney to be the father of your child? I'll do it. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll never say fertility clinic again. Just please, please don't cut out my cash flow. And tell me, how did this come about? Did Liza just up and ask you? No, I'm not exactly. I volunteered. Oh, that's just like a real no, friend, Jake. Eh? You've seen her face. Maybe she was just. She was devastated. You know how much she wants to have a child. Yeah, I do know. Yeah? And she's undertaking this whole thing on her own, and it's brave. It takes a lot of heart and a lot of courage. Well, that Liza's really something else, isn't she? And I realized that I could do this for her. It's that simple. What else could I do? I don't know what to say, except well, wow. I think we both know that this is just a simple clinical procedure. There's nothing to it. Yeah, except we both know that normally this kind of thing is kept private and anonymous, not friend of friend, Jake. But in this case, it's the perfect way to show her how much that, that she means to us. I, I, the check, you know? Right, the money. Uh-huh, and she helps us with David Hayward. Not to mention asking us to be godparents. You said yourself. She's been there for us, and she has. Now is the perfect chance to, to be there for her. So you're totally cool with this. You, you don't foresee any conflict down the line? No, I don't. So, what'd you think? Ooh, I still have the touch. I would love to know who keeps stealing my pencils. I did it! I did it! I did it! You certainly did. Bye-bye.